Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Pl Blindly Play Resident Evil with Miox Fu. But I'm not sure if this is an another episode or not. It may not be because I have not edited the last three or four episodes pre prior to this. I don't know. <laughs> well, you'll know, won't you? But, 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 what I have decided is to combat Snakey again. And, well, we're gonna jump down the hole and see what we can see. A hole opens in the fireplace. I should have checked that first last time. I'm actually gonna check this table set over here as well. Maybe we can get some... Nice snack before we fight Snakey. Alright, we're fine. Just making sure I'm all set for this already. Because once we hit this piano, that's it. Oh god. <laughs> Hello, Snakey. How's it going? Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> um. I'm assuming that what you're supposed to. What you can do is you can just jump right down the hole, but. Screw that. This is, I do not want to see this guy again. I'm going to take him out one last time. Hopefully. Maybe. You know, I've not gotten past this, so I have no idea if this actually takes him out or not. Well, there goes our mixed herbs. And there's probably going to be the rest of our shotgun ammo gone as well. Are you done with us? No, you're not. No? No, 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 you're not done with us yet. There you go. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. He dissolves into a pile of goop. I forgot about that. It has been, like, a week since that attempt at killing Snakey the last time, so... Yeah. Kind of forgot that he died. Like that. All right, we've got one shot in the shotgun. Hmm. That could come in handy. The other, On the other hand, it could be an extra... It could, it could be just a wasted inventory space. Uh... Now comes the problem. Do we want to take that with us? And hope that we can use it against that one lizard man that we have to fight to get out or do we want to leave it and take more health items with us hmm it does become a conundrum well first things first I want to heal I need to heal so I'm gonna use one of the mixed herbs I'm going to go back and get two other mixed herbs, and I think I should I should take the combat knife with me just in case, because I don't know what's going to be up ahead, and I don't know if I'm actually going to run out of an ammo or not, because my plan is to go through the basement and work my way back around to... let's look at the map. Work my way back around to the storage room where we found Rebecca. So that empty room, or that unexplored room on the left is where we're gonna come out. I know that. And we're gonna take the second hallway on the right and the last hall, the last door on the left, and we're probably gonna run into like four or five lizard men on the way. Oh boy! And from what it, from what I've seen, it doesn't really look like we can just run by them and be safe. Actually, you know what I might do? I might go up to the second floor because we haven't seen lizard men up there yet. You know, where the elevator lets us off 
uh, after taking it up from the basement. I am really hoping that there are no new lizard men between me and the garden. Okay, I don't hear any footsteps. Why am I why am I quieting down as if they can hear me? Oh wait. Okay, it doesn't seem to be there doesn't seem to be anybody in the way. But I do need to go back and get some some herbs. Some herbs. <laughs> oh shoot. I don't think I have enough room. Cuz I want to get I want to mix two sets of herbs. Okay, green herb. Yes, I will take a green herb. And a red herb. Yeah, I won't be able to mix two sets. Not this way. Alright, so what I think I'll do is I'll just take a green herb because if I remember correctly, I left one red herb in the mini garden near where we found Rebecca, so... Might go for that. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. This is... This is the worst part. <laughs> Resident Evil Inventory Manager Edition. Quartermaster Edition. <laughs> Alright. Stop derping into walls, Chris. Ah, another lizard man. No, thank God. I really wish that I can remember what's in every single room as well. Some of them I'm just drawing a blank. Oh, I kind of want to... Oh... I kind of want to just go back for that red herb, but I'm not going to do that, because that's just another five minutes wasted just going back and forth for an inventory item. And I think we can make it with this. Yeah. I need the key. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because we need to unlock that door. And without the key, we have to go through the second floor, and I'm not... S well, maybe we're supposed to go through the second floor on that case. I don't know. Because there's got to be a way to get through the mansion without a key. If... Or at least a way to get back to the normal parts of the mansion. Alright, here, here we go, guys. I will jump down. Problem is, I don't think... No, see, there's no way to get back up. I didn't check that last time. I really regret not checking it. Alright, there's nothing in here. And this is... If I am correct... Yeah, that's that one inaccessible room. There's a switch below. Will you press it? I got the fire burning down below. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Well, no. I'm just going to open that switch and just stay here till I die. Because I'm probably going to di just die anyway. Wait. Wait a minute. Okay, it's just the zombie. I wasn't sure if there was actually a lizard man here or not. <laughs> Couldn't quite remember. Die, zombie! Oh, you're dead. Cool. I only wasted five bullets on you. Okay, he's not looking at us yet. Because we know that there's the one guy down this way. Okay, he saw us, but let's get back over here so we can actually fight him correctly. Come on, zombie. Come on. 
There we go. Darn it, we wasted a bullet. And stab him, Chris. Stab him for justice. And peace and glory and all of those good things. Be dead, be dead. Please be dead. No, we want to equip the knife, Chris. We don't want to just look at it and think it's pretty and be like, Oh, what a good knife! Oh, he's dead. Is he? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. I wasn't sure. The depth perception's a little bit off from my perspective. Oh, that's right. The shotgun shells, which we can't carry. Sorry about that, guys. For some reason, my, uh... Computer started dropping frames. Just making sure it's not anymore. Which is really weird, because it hasn't done that since I moved over to the new computer. Oh no, put the knife back on, because I need to sync. Well, actually. Well, resync. Beretta, clip, mixed herbs, green herb, combat knife. Mansion key. Should be good now. Should be good. Being the operative word. Hopefully, we're good. Of course, I don't see why we wouldn't be. Except my computer might start dropping frames again. Oh, that's right. These are the zombies that are feeding. I'm actually going to kill these zombies. Because I want to know... Okay. I want to know if this guy's carrying anything that I need. Because he might be carrying something important, like ammo, which would be the most important thing that we could get from these guys. The worst case scenario is he's carrying nothing at all, and that would be terrible. So then we just wasted like 10 bullets on these guys for no reason. And our valuable time. Die, zombie! Oh, come on. I feel like the cops in Spongebob from that time when Spongebob and Mr. Krabs thought that they killed the health inspector. You know, when they're like, oh, die, zombie! And it's like, nice work, officer! Thank you. Hey, wait a minute. This guy's not a zombie. He's just a regular health inspector. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I love that episode. Well, there's green herbs. And that's it. Um... I don't know. Uh, uh, that That's kind of disappointing, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad that I took my time to figure that out now, rather than figure it out at some inopportune time. Alright. So, let's see. We have the basement stair- well, well yeah. Alright, we have the basement stairs lead up to that room, right? I think so. That room on the left, and then we have the elevator, which leads up to someplace else. Wait a minute, what's that on the counter? Did we pick that up last time? Oh, it's a desk key. We can't. We didn't pick it up last time because we couldn't. 
That's right. Same as this time. Don't worry, we'll probably have plenty of time to pick it up this time. Hmm. Decision time. I really think this is the hardest part because I know what I'm getting into and I'm psyching myself out for it. Which is arguably worse than just running headlong into trouble. I'm gonna go upstairs. We don't know if there's gonna be zombies or fish people up there. And there's the chance that it'll be fish people. I know he's a zombie. There we go. Is that it? Is he dead? No, he's not. Keep doing this until he is. Ha. Huh. This goes to show who whoever said that uh, the knife was the most useless thing in Resident Evil. I just took out a zombie without taking any damage or using any ammo. That, to me, is not a useless weapon. da 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 And we're here. Alright, so... Oh, that's right, there's Skippy right here. <laughs> Those camera angles are quite interesting. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna go with this. Oh, crap. Well, just squash his head. Squash his head, please. There we go, just like a ripe watermelon. Alright, so I'm gonna let you guys go for now, and we're gonna check out the rest of this mysterious second floor, because there's zombies here, and I'd rather deal with them than deal with fishmen. So, yeah. See you next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Fu. Take it easy.